you know summer's coming when you charge overnight to 80 percent and you power up and there's more than 400 kilometers of range hello welcome to kitty and aero diaries on the 18th of may hope you're well and uh, enjoying better weather actually the weather here hasn't been great this has been the wettest coolest april and may that we can remember here and uh, the local folks are saying the same thing anyway um just thought i would uh, say how weird it is now having the extra digit on the odometer um you know we're at 101,400 and something kilometers now and uh, the other day i uh, i i got back and powered down and uh, it was saying ones and zeros so it was a complete binary number on there I, I don't know if I've got a funny thing about numbers it's not a problem so today is all about numbers as I'm looking at them on the dashboard there um, but more to do with challenging some of the uh, torrent of uh, misinformation and disinformation and there's a difference between the two um, that are flying around on the internet and particularly on YouTube um, the sort of general kind of belief is that EV sales are down now they're not down they're just not going up as fast as they were and that is understandable in a maturing market you know if we are past the point where it's the early adopters and the sort of virtue signalers <laughs> and you know tree hugging green people that have bought all their EVs and now we're getting into more the general buying population I don't buy that actually but uh, you know there's there, you know there's no doubt that buyers are saying nah just not going to pay that and of course the other thing is is that you know EV technology is moving so fast that you know if you wait a while you're likely to get a car more to your liking uh, uh, with better features and an even lower price but anyway um, just to um, point to some of the data some of the facts which you know some of these anti-EV websites they're not interested in so EV volumes which is an independent uh, industry analyst uh, they say that in March 2024 um, uh, EV sales were up globally 19% on 2023 so not growing as fast as they were but what that means is it's 1.3 million cars with a plug came onto the road globally in March and 880,000 of those were you know battery electric vehicles not plug-in hybrids so you know we're going to add another 10 million at least battery electric vehicles this year and uh, total vehicles with a plug is probably going to hit 17 million so there's 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 growth there and and the other thing that the anti-ev people like to say is oh uh, evs are only for the wealthy elite they're too expensive and you go well yeah that's the sentiment but then in the next uh video they post they're saying oh ev evs are worthless sales you know prices are collapsing you know people are losing vast amounts of money on buying evs um, so you think, well, you can't have it both ways, mate. You know, it, they're either too expensive or they're losing value and they're too cheap. What is it? Um, now, the fact is that in the UK, in the first quarter of 2024, um, used EV sales are up 71%. Um, so just to read some of what is being said, and, and this is on the website of CarWow, who do ship an awful lot of cars. And this is... Um, coming you know the data is coming from the society of motor manufacturers and traders in the uk and it says um uh yes there's been volatility in the ev residual values but um on the car wow over the past year they've seen an increase in ev listings of 23 percent year on year and our dealer partners are reporting that the stock turn on evs is much quicker than it is for um, petrol cars so petrol cars typically take 51 days to turn over EVs are taking 41 days to turn over and, um, the, and the indications are also from their dealer partners that uh, there's 5% more profit margins to be had on selling used EVs than uh, petrol cars on average that is so you know where's all this completely lack of demand where's this nobody wants them and a complete collapse in prices well it seems that's not the case 
And, you know, here in France during April, April 2024 was 45% up on April 2023. So, again, healthy numbers there. Um, nothing to worry about. But I think, you know, prices are going to be coming down. And I think that was quite obvious from a few weeks ago when my friend Anthony and I went to uh, test drive the new Kona EV. Um, very nice car. Um, its official retail price is about 43, 44,000 for the 65 kilowatt hour battery version. Um, and with a little bit of um, government incentive of 4,000 and another two and a half thousand discount offered by the dealer, it was down to 37,000 something. Still too high. Um, you know, it, it is a car equivalent to a sort of Peugeot 3008 or a Nissan Qashqai in size and if you want one of those in petrol versions you know to the same kind of spec as, as the EV you're talking maybe low low 30 33 34,000 so a little bit of a way to go yet uh, anyway just thought I'd uh, throw those in there and you know we've got to keep battling away against all the disinformation that's out there and by the way disinformation according to The Economist uh, which I've been taking for many many years and I get weekly is is about an intention to deceive so you know you say something like you know EV sales are falling and you focus on say one particular market like the USA or you know a couple of particular uh, car manufacturers like Ford and GM who indeed are struggling to sell EVs at the moment as are Hyundai globally apparently uh, but then you look at the big picture you stand back look at the big picture and you find that EVs sales are still going up it's just you know you know picking on some bad news uh, trying to spread it or spread it around and you know to deceive people um, so that's disinformation misinformation is just basically you know spreading incorrect stuff so yep um just thought i'd have a go there uh put my penneth in and um yeah and i hope the weather improves for you because we need it we've just we're at the stage where we're planting out our vegetable patch and uh, it's a lot of what we do here we put a lot of uh, effort and uh, we get a lot of joy from that so anyway until the next time